Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Christ is risen. Uh, he is risen indeed. Type that in for me, as a matter of fact. We haven't typed that in in a moment. He is risen indeed. Ah, we celebrate that the tomb is still empty, that our Lord still reigns. He still rules. He still abides. Aren't you glad about that, that we serve an alive God? He is not unknown to us. He may be unknown to others, but he is not unknown to us. We know who we celebrate. Great Jehovah, the God Almighty. Y'all do me a favor right now. Like this video. Share this video. Comment during this time together. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please, please, please like and follow our Facebook page. I'm going to ask you always to do that. That's your way of spreading the word of God. And that's our way of asking you to do so. Y'all listen, now that you've done that, I need you to give us your I am statement. That's essentially telling us how you are doing today. Type in your I am statement today. I am blessed. I'm glad to be here. What is your statement today? Amen. But then don't stop there. Don't stop there. Boast on God. Name one thing that God did for you today. We created this format yeah, way back during the early days of 2020. And so we are still here praying together. Aren't you glad about that? But we're walking through a new book. I'm still calling it new. It's called Strength for Each Day. It's a 365-day devotional book by Dr. Joyce Meyer. And today's title, today's topic is Are You Usable? Are you usable? 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7, New King James Version of the text, where Paul is talking about some clay pots. And he says this, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Somebody type the word amen. Yeah, type the word amen. Are you usable? Are you usable? But then after you type amen in honor in the reading of God's holy word, I want you to join me at the altar, wherever you're at, by closing your eyes. You're closing your eyes. Yes, bowing your head, lifting up your heart for prayer. Yes, let's pray together. Lord God Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, the great creator, the great I am, the great Jehovah, Ah, we thank you so much today, God, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. Lord, thank you for food on our table and clothes on our back. But more than that, Father, thank you for finding value in us. Yeah, Paul called it treasure in these earthen vessels, these fragile vessels, these, these uh, mortals. We are mere mortals. We are fragile. We are flawed. We are broken. Uh, but, Lord, you still saw value in us. Thank you for looking beyond our faults and taking care of our needs and using us for your purpose and glory. Lord, thank you for not destroying us and putting us off to the side, but finding a way to mold us back together again. Because clay pots, yeah, you found value in these old earthen vessels. Thank you, God. When no one else sees value in us, when no one else sees use in us, when everybody else wants to throw us away, you pull us closer and use us for your glory. Thank you, God. Father, if there's someone that does not see value in themselves, we ask you to pour back in them some self-esteem, pour back in them some energy, some, some revitalization, re-energize them, remind them that you are the great I am. You are the great creator, and you created them in the image of you. And so there is value in them. There is use in them. There is a job for them to do. There is purpose uh, for them to do kingdom purpose and let us line up with your word let us line up with the, your will and have your way in our lives we thank you dear master for this day that you have made that you've allowed us to be a part of we bless you today we lift you up we give you the honor the praise and the glory which is due unto you in the mighty and the majestic name of Jesus Christ we do pray our soon coming king hallelujah and amen Come on, living church. Let's give our living God a living praise. You can do it on today. Yes, open up your mouth. Amen. Amen and amen.